Hello everyone, this is Jeanette. Happy New Year and welcome to my first video for the year 2010. Today I am be, uh, doing a simple friend card and I'm going to be using uh, the Pagoda cartridge. Uh, I've got this uh, a couple of weeks ago and this is the first opportunity that I've had to really use it so I'm going to run through you with you on the card that I did with it. <coughs> For a lot of my cards, I use the Walmart uh, card packages. They're 5 by 7 cards. I like them because I don't have to go and do an, any cutting. And I can just pull it out of the box and get ready to go. So that's what I did. The first thing I did with this is I inked around the edges of this card in black. I didn't want the white to completely show through. So I inked around the edges using the color box chart. And this is the choco charcoal. The next thing that I did was took a piece of paper and this measures four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and I attached it to the back. I ran it through my Big Shot machine using one of the Sizzix texturing plates to give it the flowers. I wanted the flowers to go with what is on her little kimono. The next thing I did was I had a piece of paper that came from a Walmart pack years ago that was a scrap pack and it had some symbols on it so I went ahead and tore that and inked the top of it with a color box um, brown uh, ink pad and I used this Fisker's little uh, vine punch to punch the edge of the card on the bottom. I adhered that down using my uh, Walmart little uh, adhesive, the one that I really like. The next thing I did was I cut this little girl, the little uh, doll. I cut her um, at three and a half inches. She is on page uh, 29. She is the one that's right here. So I cut it at three and a half inches. I did the bottom part of the doll first, cut it in black. Then I went ahead and cut the layers, which is the shift button for this one. Cut that out in a beige. Then I went and sprayed. I don't have Glimmer Mist. What I use is um, the Shimmering Mist. These are called Radiant Rain. And they basically do the same thing as um, Glimmer Mist does. But I've had these for a while, so I decided to bring them out and they do give the same shimmer that the glimmer mists do and you can't really see that here but it does have a shimmer and these little bottles were six dollars I think for a large bottle the next thing that I did was um, cut out the symbol for the friend that is on page 30 30 sorry on page 36 of the book and it is this little symbol right here and I know that it stands for friend because that's what that little tag says so I cut that out in black I cut that out at um, two and a quarter inches then I took my cloud white verse mark and I inked around the edges so the um, it would show up a little bit better and I know that my friend would not know what this meant so I went ahead and I um, took a stamp this is by Stampology and it's this little friendship stamp right here and I only inked up the friend part of it to stamp on this card so then I went ahead and I adhered the bottom part with my adhesive went ahead and wrapped a piece of ribbon around the card and tied it in a knot and moved it over. I pop dotted her on some pop dots to make her come up. Uh, before I put these first two layer pieces there's a very thin uh, strip of red right here. That is a ribbon and I went ahead and adhered that down to the little doll before I put the pieces of um, the dress together. I inked around the dress with the charcoal pad again and then added that. 
her little face to bring her little lips in. That is a piece of the scrap ribbon that I used for this part here. Then I went ahead and put the friend symbol on and stamp friend next to it. And that is the first card that I've come up with for this year. I want to thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again on another video. Please leave a comment and if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see, drop me a note. I would love to hear from you. Once again, have a happy new year and may you stay safe throughout the day. Bye.